I have a birthday coming up yes. next month, March the 24th. Praise the Lord. I'll be 64 years old. Amen. Yesterday, I heard my mom's voice say, you are about to get drunk. That's what she told me every year for my birthday. It wasn't a happy birthday, but you're about to get drunk. To my mother, and if she was here today, she probably still tell me that because as far as she was concerned, I'll always be her little girl. Yeah. But God said, grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Yeah. Strong meat belongs to those that are mature. God is saying to us, New Liberty, it's time to grow up. That's not my message, but I'm giving you a word from the Lord. It's time to grow up. I got saved in 1988. I've been reading, I've been studying, I've been praying, I've been sitting before the Lord up until this day. And I can tell you, I'm still growing up. Sometimes we think we know the word, we can recite the word, we do this, we do that. We still can mature. When we grow up, then we can hear from God when God gives us a dream, he will give us the interpretation of the dream. God will release prophecy. God will release word, wisdom, signs, wonders when we grow up. But that's all about sitting in his presence. Hearing from God. When you hear from him, be obedient to do what he tells you to do. And I can tell you, even my standing here is in obedience. Yes, I've been before you a few times. I get just as shaky as I did the first time I stood up here. Just as shaky. But I'm willing to do what God told me to do. Amen? Praise God. So, New Liberty, are we going to grow up? Amen. Amen. Don't think you've grown yet, but we're going to grow up in the things of God. Amen? God. Amen. I want to talk about showers today. Spiritual showers. And uh, Brother Virgil, I, I know, you know, New Liberty is on YouTube now. I just believe God wants me to release it into this atmosphere. It's important that uh, yes, some of the Apostle Crook, it's important that the head be what's released into the body I'm releasing it into the atmosphere. God will give it to anyone that needs to hear and know what it said today because it is from God. Amen. Amen. And I want to tell you, be so proud of what God is doing in you, what God is doing in your ministry and your leaders, that you share it with somebody. Amen. Last week I was I was thinking and, and I, I sent my, my manager a text. And I sent her how to, you know, pull it up. And so she started asking me questions, and, and she asked, I forget what she asked me in the text, but I was trying to answer. She said, I'm watching it now. So we talked about it the next day. I'm saying that's another tool for you to use the witness. Amen. It's not just for us. And some people won't know unless you tell them. It's not for anybody to stay at home and don't, don't come and assemble themselves together. But use this as an opportunity to witness. Amen. That word was so rich every Sunday. Last Sunday, it was so rich. Uh, the credit took place. It seemed like everyone that came up and I had an opportunity to pray with them. It was something different from what was said in the message. It was rich. It was full. Amen. And it was from God. So share it with somebody. Enjoy it for yourself, but make sure you tell somebody else. Amen. Praise God. Spiritual showers. And I scripture comes from Acts. We're going to start with Acts 2 17. Amen. And this was prophesied in John 2.28. In John 2, 28, it says, In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Sons and 
daughters will prophesy, young men will see visions, old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants both and women will I pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy. Someone read Acts 2.17 for me. And it shall come to Verse 27, and he who searches our hearts 
knows the mind of the spirit because the spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Amen. 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 So it's talking about praying in the spirit. Yeah. So important. Amen. When you don't know what to say, yeah. amen, just pray in the spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to pray through you. I mean, then you know that you have touched heaven. Yes. Then you know that you're praying his perfect will. Yes. Amen. Praise God. God yes. desires for us to pray in the spirit. Yes. It's important to pray in the spirit. Yes. God knows what you're saying. Amen. Yes. Amen. We, there are some of us, that I remember when Tiffany was here. Tiffany spoke, she speaks Spanish. Amen. You may know another different language. I, I thought about when I'm going to the nail salon sometimes, and they're in there and they're um, talking to, they may uh, be Vietnamese or something like that, and they're talking to their people in their language. And I don't like it, I'm to you, I don't like it, because it makes me wonder, you know, they say something they don't need to be saying about me. I don't like it. Amen. But they know what they're saying. So when we pray in the spirit, God knows what is being said to us. And because we're allowing him to pray. We're allowing him to release. When I get those prayer texts, I read them, I read them, and I pray in the spirit. Amen. Because God knows what needs to be done. God knows how to do it. God will do it. He'll do it. Amen. Praise God. So it's important to pray in the spirit. Acts 3, 3 and 4. And there appeared unto them clothing, which is divided tongues, like as a fire. And it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born. Amen. They spoke in tongues. There was Acts 3 and 4. Acts 2 and 3. Oh, Acts 2. Yes. I might not have said it. Amen. But they spoke in other languages. This is a heavenly language. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they heard. There was some that could interpret there because there were men there from all places. Yeah. So they heard their language. They heard their different languages. Yeah. Amen. But this is a heavenly language. Yeah. This is a heavenly language. Yeah. So we need to exercise our gift of praying in the spirit. Amen. To the believer, to us, the tongue, speaking in tongues, should be our native language. Now, I know English quite well, but I got the ups, amen, amen. on the world that don't know him. It's my native language, amen. I can exercise that. Amen. The Holy Spirit gave it to me. And it should be your native language. Amen. Use it. We have the liberty to do this. Amen. Praise God. Now spiritual showers releases prophecy, visions, and dreams. Prophecy we can hear from God and speak for God. Prophecy. That's a powerful gift. It's a dangerous thing to do that. Say we're prophet, speaking for God. We're not hearing from God. But if you hear from Him, you can speak for Him and He will back you up. Amen. We can echo what God is saying. Amen. Spiritual vision, we can see to the eye, it is 
to the eye, spiritual vision. In the natural, the closer we get to an object, the better the lighting is, the better we can see. Same thing in the spiritual. The closer we get to God, the better the lighting is, the better we can see Him. We're seeking His face. His face. How do we do that? Spend time in prayer. Spend time. You know, I, I watched Pastor some of them. It might have been last Sunday or Sunday before. The music stopped playing and he kept sitting. He was sitting, he was listening to God. We need to learn how to practice that. Yeah. Sit and listen to God. Don't move until God say move. Don't do what God don't tell you to do. Do what he say. No more, no less. Don't add to it. Don't take away. Amen. Amen. When we sit in the presence of God, we will have less distractions. We'll be more focused. We are value spending time in his presence. Mm -hmm. Matthew 6, 22 and 23. If someone will get that for me, and it talks about clear vision. Mm -hmm. Matthew 6, 22 and 23. Their eyes. 
buttons. Come on now. And I asked God, what did it mean? So he gave me the, the illustration of when you put it on your clothes and you button something up. That means you want it closed. So if your eyes are like that concerning anything, that means you don't want to see. God wants us to see. Amen. And see things his way. So he wants our eyes to be open. Because he does desire to show us things. Praise God. Again, I say when you spend time with God, if he give you a vision, if he give you a dream, growing up, a part of growing up is, it's all right to, to, to talk to a brother and sister, someone that you know and you can trust and confide in, for, you know, whatever God is saying, or maybe they pray about it. But if he's showing you something, he's got enough to know to do, to, sh to tell you what he's showing you. God don't do a half work. That means we're not grown up. We need to show you something, but you gotta go ask somebody else. But you can ask God. We don't have to be like Pharaoh. He had to dream me, he didn't understand the dream. So he had to find somebody that had that relationship with God that could accurately interpret the dream. God will show you and he will give you interpretation if you ask him and wait on it. Amen. Just wait on it. Amen. It'll come. Amen. And if I got all match up, it don't matter. I'm giving you what God gave me. Matthew Mark 525. God led me to Mark 525. 26, 27, and 28. If someone will get that. And when you get it, if you would read it. Church body of Christ reach up and touch his 
garment. Yeah. Now this illustration was Jesus was pressed and he was already surrounded by people. But he felt when she touched him. And he wanted to know who touched him. Because virtue flowed out of him. He's such a great big God. He's big enough to handle anything and everything. He wants us to reach up to him. He desires to allow his virtue to flow out of him. For us. Amen. And not only for us, but for those that we are interceding for. Those that we are standing in the gap for. God desires to release his virtue. And don't think that your problem, it, you know, God is not like us. And you might ask me to do something, else, and I'm trying to do something else for somebody else. And this has to wait. God is not like this. He is a God that can do whatever, whenever, all in one time, because he's God. Hallelujah. He can do it. Yeah. Amen. So I can tell him about my problem. Amen. Sister Wilson can talk to him about her situation. Maybe you don't have a problem. Maybe you're giving him some praise. Amen. We should be doing that. Yeah. We should do that. Amen. Because he is do all that. Amen. Amen. God has said, reach up and touch me. Amen. And he will release his virtue for you. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Psalms 27, 7 and 8 tells us to seek his face, to seek his presence. Proverbs 8, 17 says, I love those that love me and those that seek me Diligently. Yeah, amen. Diligently. I mean, really seeking. Don't leave God out of anything. Amen. It says they find me. Amen. Do you need anything from God? Amen. Do you need anything from God? Lastly, we've been having a, a lot of rain. A lot of rain. I don't know. You like me. In my workplace, I pass people here to talk. You know, it's, the weather is always the topic if it's nothing else. Oh, I'll be glad when summer comes, it's too cold. I'll be glad when it stops raining, I'm tired of the rain. But let me tell you, body of Christ, rain is good. Spiritual showers is good. Amen. I love the rain because I know what it represents in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Spiritual showers is good. God is releasing his refresh, his refreshing. Thank you, Lord. God is releasing his anointing. Yes. I'm encouraging you to get into the rain. Yes. Get into the rain. Amen. Amen. Let your clothes get wet Come on, in the rain. Let your hair get wet. Let it run in your shoes. Let it run in your shoes. Amen. When you walk in your workplace. Amen. Just leave wet tracks. In the spirit. Leave wet tracks of the anointing. In the spirit. Amen. Don't resist the rain. Amen. For the natural, we can pull our umbrellas out. We don't like to get wet. But I'm encouraging you, get wet Amen. in the rain. Ask God to release his spiritual showers upon you. Amen. Amen. Ask him to show you if there's anything standing in the way. All you got to do is repent. All you got to do is ask God to forgive you. All you got to do is just do what he tells you. Amen. He ain't going to tell you nothing too hard. God is not going to tell you anything that you can't do through his ability. It might be too hard for you in the natural, but he's our very present here. Amen. So, I'm encouraging you. Get wet.
in the rain. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Be blessed. Amen.